everyone, my name is Cindy. Um, I have had rotator cuff surgery. I had it one week ago today. So I wanted to do this video because I have really benefited from being able to um, watch videos online from people who have gone through this. I've watched videos from orthopedists, uh, read a lot of blogs, trying to do everything to get myself ready. and. I'm coming at this from the perspective of someone who lives alone, so I'm not partnered currently, and uh, being by myself, I wanted to prepare as much as I could and be ready to uh, take care of myself as best I could uh, for the surgery. So that's, I wanted to chronicle my journey, but also talk about it from that perspective. So, so here I am, um, I'm wearing my lovely sling. This is de rigueur, this is kind of the standard, I guess, of care for, post-surgery in your rotator cuff. So it's got um, a lovely place for your arm. It has a strap that starts at your elbow, goes around your shoulder, and then clips here. And then it's got a belt that clips at the end of what is a body pillow. You can see the end of the body pillow back here, and that kind of keeps me, keeps my arm away from my body. And this body pillow strap anchors to the, uh, this belt strap anchors to the body pillow. So the thing about um, the rotator cuff surgery is that, so my rotator cuff, my supraspinatus tendon was torn, had a large complete tear, um, which means that where it was connected to the bone, it wasn't connected to the bone. So it, it had a large, relatively large area that should have been connected to the bone, but was kind of floating around free um, as a result of a bike wreck, right? So, so the surgery is to place some anchors in the bone and then to use sutures to tie the tendon to the bone and then to give the body time to grow the tendon back into the bone. So for six weeks, the shoulder is to be immobilized, which is the purpose of this sling. It takes um, a total of five months for the repair itself to complete and the uh, total trajectory for recovery is on the order of a year, sometimes it's longer. Um, I've benefited as I from so many videos I've seen online. Uh, Don, Donna Westermeyer in particular has an amazing set of videos that she did of her own recovery from um, rotator cuff surgery. And uh, so but this is my take from the perspective of someone living alone. So I wanted to start off by, you know, talking again about the sling. So, one of my tasks I felt was to learn right away how to manage the sling in the absence of having someone here. So I hired home health care to help me out for the first several days, um, which was great. They were here. I got out of surgery Wednesday afternoon. I had them until Sunday afternoon. Um, and it was great to have them cook and to kind of spot me because I felt a little bit wobbly. And so, you know, that was really wonderful. And then, but once I they weren't going to be here, I was going to need to be able to operate the sling myself. So I received the sling from the doctor's office before the surgery, and I practiced to make sure that I understood how I could go about taking this out, off, and putting it on on my own. So I'm going to go through just kind of a little practice with that. So you'll notice that there's a little, at the front, there's a little thumb strap for your, uh, for your thumb. Um, this may or may not be around your thumb when you get out of the surgery, depending on whether you have a nerve block, but we'll talk about that later. But anyway, so right now I have it in there, so I'm just gonna unhook my thumb, and I'm just gonna stick this over here. Everything is Velcro, so everything kind of sticks to itself. So, okay, thumbs out of there. I've got a little shoulder strap, a little strap here that holds the arm inside the sling. This is just kind of a big pocket, so I'll take that and just stick it to itself right here. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo the shoulder strap. Now, this shoulder strap, as I mentioned, is anchored at the back of this sling. If I let this hang down, if I just undo this and let it flop, I cannot reach this to put it back on. So I need to make sure that I can get it when I go to put it back on. So I'm going to unclip this, then clip it to itself. So here's my little clip. I'm just gonna squeeze it. Squeeze it a little bit like a seatbelt might. And then I just go around my head and squeeze it back together. Now it's conveniently located where I can get it when I need to put it back on. Last thing I have here is my belt clip. It's right right here, and it's just, it presses from the top a little bit, again, like some seat belt. So there it goes, it's off. So now it's just, I'm just holding the weight of my arm against my body as, 
holding the sling in place, I've got a curved body pillow. So I'm gonna take my non-surgical hand and hold the, the um, sling, and then I'm just gonna slowly just kind of pull it away from my arm and then slowly, carefully let my arm down. So um, my surgeon said once I could start showering, and that was three days after my surgery, I wouldn't need a sling and I could let my arm hang. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's just, you know, moving back. You can see it's just kind of hanging there, not really doing much, and I don't want to do much because I need to not move this shoulder. So supposing I'm done changing my shirt or whatever good activity I was doing that caused me to need to be out of the sling, now I'm going to put it back. So what do I do? So I'm going to start by, I've got the sling in my good hand, and I'm just going to move the sling so that it's around my hand. I'm just going to grab the sling and just slowly kind of pull it onto my arm. And I'm near a couch. I'm actually just, in this case, I'm just going to put my foot on the couch so that my arm is, is resting on the sling. It makes it really comfortable. Now there's no strain at all on the shoulder. So I'm put my little arm uh, strap over. And I'm going to do the, um, I'm going to do, I guess, my, I can do my shoulder strap or my belt. Either way, I'll do the short, shoulder strap since it's convenient. So here we are conveniently located and squeeze the sides so it comes out. Then I just put it over my, around my other shoulder, clip, and now all I have left is my belt strap, which is hanging down. I can reach around, and if I lean back just a little bit, I can grab it, and now I have it, push straight in, voila, I put my thumb strap on, and I am good to go. So that's taking off the sling, putting it on all by yourself. So that's really good.